Mercado Vial TV, un mundo de máquinas. Estamos en el primer día de Conexpo 2017, acá en el stand de Deliver, recuperando una línea de producto como son las, las grúas móviles RT. We are presenting a new line, product line here at Conexpo. This is Leaper Rough Terrain Cranes. We, 30 years ago we, we made rough terrain cranes, but mainly for the European market. And then we concentrated more on the all terrain cranes, yeah, to fill all the gaps and uh, to extend the range of all terrain cranes and we, we are market leader for some years now. Yeah, and some years ago we thought coming back with this product, the rough terrain crane, and we investigated the, the market, the world market, and yeah, the, the main market for these type of cranes is the United States. We start with two models, it's a 90 ton model with a 47 meter telescopic boom, with a full power hydraulic boom. And uh, this one, which we see here, is a 100 ton, metric ton crane with a 50 meter boom, and this is a bolted boom. Biggest issue for us was, yeah, how sh should we enter into a market where the competition is already there, yeah? And what are the benefits for the customers when they buy the Leaper. What we focus is, is safety. Yeah, Leaper is, crane, is the safe alternative to all the competition machines. And I'll show you one by example, which you see behind you. This is a wall. This is what we call the Leaper Vario Base. That means very often when you are on a, on a construction site, it is not able to extend the outriggers, all four outriggers completely. There is a wall or there are other obstacles and with the Leaper system, you can extend any outrigger to any length and the crane controller controls the per permissible load capacities. So you're always on the safe side. You can never tip over the crane. And this is a very important issue. The, the operator is, is looking in the screen there. Yeah. And in the screen you can see what is the maximum capacity if you turn over the boom over the outrigger yeah and uh, another issue is uh, comfort for the crane driver this was very important when we designed these new cranes because also comfort creates safety for example this crane cabin which you can see here is uh, approximately 220 millimeters wider than a standard cabin that gives you more space what about the cabin i mean the the movement this is a tiltable cabin yeah, which we have in our all-terrain crane since many years, but now we have it also on a rough terrain crane, yes. And you, you talk also about the, the boom, this is different from that boom, can you explain yeah. that, the difference? Yeah, the full power boom uh, is a fast, fast extension and fast retraction, but each section moves simultaneously, and with this pinned boom, you can move out any section as you like, yeah? And this gives you a little bit more flexibility, yeah? If you work very near to the crane then you move out more the, the the strong boom sections and then you have a heavy heavy lifting capacity but if you have a longer reach then you move out more the light boom sections yeah, which gives you more lifting capacity to the large uh, radii, working radius uh, it's the first time that uh, Leaper is using a, a Cummins engine and this is uh, also because uh, our main target is the American market and our customers here, they uh, told us yeah, we would like to have a Cummins engine because it's a, it's a product which is very well known in this market and also the transmission is from Dana and it's a combination which is very often used here in this, in this area, Dana and Cummins. You mentioned you in the US market, mm. that's your focus, but yeah. what's the yeah, other market yeah, besides we, US? Yeah, we see other markets. Uh, Germany is a smaller market, uh, but surely we'll sell some cranes also in, in Europe. But we see also uh, Middle East, yeah, especially the uh, jobs in, 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 in refineries or construction sites for power plants and so. Yes, Middle East, also uh, Central and South America. This will also be a good market for these new machines. Uh, I think we can deliver the first machines until uh, we have uh, finalized all the tests on the machine by by end of this year. And then we see how we proceed, yeah, how we can extend our um, range of uh, rough terrain cranes 
whether to, to make a bigger model or whether to make a smaller model, but this is not decided yet. This is not the end. These two models are not the, the only yeah, two. not the end. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. ¿Qué estás esperando? Suscríbete ya. We'll be